hello guys in this video we are going to learn or uh, we we are going to see how you can install a local vhd in your machine okay in your laptop for uh, d365 finance and operations okay so let's get started for this you need lcs.dynamics.com access credential okay which you can get from your partner or from any of the D, uh, d365 client as well okay so latest one which i have installed is this vhd this VHD, this VHD, this VHD. So all four you have to install. Okay, once you will install, uh, sorry, you will download. Okay, so all four, if you click on it, all four will be downloaded and it will be downloaded like this. The first part is a RAR file. The second part, third part and fourth part is a, uh, is a, is a archive file. Okay, so once you will run this application, it will be created into finance and operations of VHD. Okay, so this is a, vhd file so once you download it it will take some time it will take around because the data data is around 40 gb okay right now they have reduced it to 30 gb i think yes earlier it was coming till 40 gb so now they have reduced this thing to 30 gb as well so 30 gb of data you need to install and then step number two you have to run, uh, you have to right click on it and then run as administrator this application will convert all the three files this should be kept in one folder one single folder okay and from there you can create a vhd so step number two once this is downloaded uh, uh step number one you have to create a vhd then the best part i have seen this vhd you can run it via oracle virtual machine as well you can download the oracle virtual machine and connect it this will start meanwhile i will show you the hyper vm i found the hyper vm as a better way out but yeah for this uh, hyper vm to get started uh, once i have installed it my system got very very i have 16 gb of ram with the uh, with 500 gb of ssd but still my system gets little bit slower once i run it okay so you need to take care of it if you have a 24 gb ram or 32 gb ram laptop it is good else you can do it in our server as well okay so what i need to do is i will start the services i normally close uh, keep it close only okay so after that once you will start it you need you can click on the new button over here and inside the new button you can click on the virtual machine okay or you can go from file uh action no or you can right click over here as well and then click on the new button and then click on the virtual machine then as the system suggests you have to do the same thing okay we'll click on the next button give it a name then click on the next button generation one you keep it click on next button keep as it is use dynamic memory okay if you have 16 gb of ram everything will work fine okay the, this is the next thing where the networking you have to default take the default switch if you will not take it your whole vht will be not getting the uh, outside network okay it will not come with the outside network so that you have to take care of it okay then click on the next button over here you will select the vhd which vhd you want to install okay so the the, the format with the in the downloads folder you will find your existing vhd the the one which which i have downloaded over here i am not selecting it because i have already taken it so now next part you will once you will select it just click on the finish button once you click on the finish button a line will be generated like this over here and uh, to to select it you need to click on the connect button and uh, after the connect once you click on the connect button as this type of rdp will be opened for you okay and then you can click on the start button and i will click on the continue if everything is fine it will start and the default password is pass at word one you can note it down pass at word one which i will type right away okay so this is my virtual machine which is getting started let's wait for this virtual machine to get started so it's simple now okay and i will click on the connect button So it gets very slow right now the memory is it is taking okay so just take care of it that other processes are kept close next thing yeah i will i am typing the pass at word one is the password and then you can click on the okay it is not taking let me take pass at word one 
yes earlier the, that password i think i have typed wrong so now it is okay now once you have opened it okay so what you need to do you need to click on the generate self certificate okay so run as administrator click on it this will actually connect your vhd with the lcs okay the 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 uh, the sorry the portal.sdr.com okay so on the portal.sdr.com where you will find out your portal.sdr.com to connect it you will go to your any of the you can create a portal.sdr.com login id login and on the home page you will find the app registration if you are not getting not finding it you can click on the resources and then click on the app.registration.com under the app.registration.com you can click on the new registration i have already created it so i am not creating it okay now this is the client id you need to copy it and keep it inside it and then you can print the, uh, the then you can copy paste it and i will enter and then here it is asking do you have an existing certificate for the peer provided application id or not so i will click on no button and everything will run system will automatically run then nothing you have to do you have to just click on the services iis iis services yes this is the internet explorer services let it be open So now your IAS services are running. You can click on this one, then click on the site, then click on the AOS services. Under the AOS services, you will find out the default name. Okay, you can click on it. Still, you will you have to add your user in it. Okay, your user is not added inside this environment. Okay, D365 Finance and Operation, the environment is not yet added. So where you will find out in this, you will go to go over here in the folder then you will go to the this pc you will go to c drive you will go to aos services local package directory inside the local package directory you will go to not the local package directory there is a bin folder yes inside the bin folder you will find out admin provisioning admin user provisioning you need to run it run as administrator this will open an email address it is asking for an email address you have to give one email address with which you are going to log in okay so this email address you can give as similar to your uh, this portal.azr.com over here i have you can create your user also okay so you can cre create a new user over here and inside this new user if you will find out uh, yeah now they are saying uh, as your active directory is now microsoft intro id you can create a new id and then from there you can come over here and you can give that email id and submit it it will take 10 10 minutes at least to log in and then once you will log in it will ask you that okay uh, it is saying this there is a problem with the server let us wait maybe it is because of the services let me check if it is the service of this one is there let us see the services are running or not let's go to the services in your case first time it will not come up any problem will not come up this is coming because i have closed my services okay so i will go to microsoft so now let's see this one is coming microsoft uh, my microsoft data management service is also running mm, let's see what is the issue the so the server is not running let's see why the server is not running sorry the server is encountered it is either not available it can respond that it cannot respond please say contact your system administrator yeah let me see okay meanwhile it is getting started i will show you the visual studio okay so visual 
studio this is your visual studio i have created a project as well and that project i will show you now how you can build okay so this is my project which i have prepared So once you log into the Visual Studio, you can click on the extensions. Then under the extension, normally you create a model. You can go ahead with the model. This you can see in my technical session also how to create a model. Okay. Meanwhile, it is getting open. Let me check an internal error. Please contact your system administrator. Meanwhile, it is preparing the solution. The second thing you can normally right click, then create an EDT. Okay, under the EDT, I have created a date type of EDT. And in this, once this EDT, I have added a table extension. You can, I was adding a customer date of birth, which the field which is not available in the customer table. You can simply click on the search button, go to the cust table and uh, create extension okay and then similarly a form extension cost table form extension and uh, add it okay so those who don't know how to add i will tell you in a later class meanwhile i will tell uh, this is getting enabled uh, my whole topic is completed uh, the, the basic the basic format how you can do it see this is the form which i was working on and i have added this uh, edt as well so to add the edt i have added over here uh, let the system gets refreshed in the general tab i have added my general new so normally it takes little bit time okay to start yeah see this is the customer date of birth this field i have added okay a new edt then you have to add it in the table first if i show you the table this is the table okay and inside this table i have simply drag and dropped my edt you have to create a edt how to create a edt that also you can right click on it and then right click on this particular project and then you can click on the EDT. so this is the elc customer date of birth okay so you know how to add the edt if not let me know in the comment section i will add it no problem okay second thing now once you have added it you need to just simply build it build uh, build you can do it from here and one more thing few things you have to update in your uh, project as well you go to the properties so this is the synchronized database this should be marked as true then you will be able to update uh, when you will build this field will be added to the table level also okay and then at the form level you can add it okay so how to create extension if you want to know i will click on the cust table so we have a form with the cust table name let it be loaded first well let's see there is a problem i will see what is the problem over there but you will be able to view it because last time i was able to add it okay so you have a create extension you have to create first step one you have to create idt create extension of the table this will add this table extension for you similarly a form extension form extension you will find out in the user interface this is the form cast table so you will simply here also you can create a extension and once you create extension add it meanwhile those who don't know how to create a model there are multiple 
portals where multiple websites where you can see how to create a model you just need to focus on the process in which you are doing step number one create a model add a project in it then add the edt add a form extension add this field and finally build it okay once you build it on the custom cast table you will be able to get your whole uh, uh, field available okay so in this way you can add the field also in this in the next videos we are going to touch base few more uh, important technical topics but yeah meanwhile till here you should be able to complete it and if there is any doubt anything you can come in the comment section and let me know okay thank you this is easy now microsoft is making it too easy for all of us to learn more and grow okay thank you thanks everyone bye